Get it Kia ora and welcome back to the 2013 World Rafting Champs. I'm here on day three of competition, which is the last day for both the youth and junior divisions. And standing behind me are the teams as they get ready to take on the downriver race on the Rangitaki River. The Rangitaki River winds its way through the Kaingaroa Forest and here to tell us a little bit more about it is New Zealand Masters paddler Nick Chater. This is uh, a quite a remote area um, it's in the Kaingaroa Forest, um, the largest man-made forest in the southern hemisphere. All the land is owned by iwi or Māori and uh, again very, the riv rivers are always very spiritual and important to local Māori so they all have significance to each individual tribe. So I'm um, very lucky to have access to this area. It's renowned for fishing, for hunting, deer and pig. Um, and some really good um, for, 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 for walking and hiking. Um, so, it, and of course the river is a, is a wonderful grade four and then the second part is grade three. Lovely, quite uh, continuous run. So we've just finished the down river race for the under 23 woman and I'm proud to say that I'm standing here with our new world champions, the under 23 New Zealand team. How are you guys feeling? Awesome! <laughs> uh, Amy, tell us, how did it go? Uh, it was really good out there. We're um, pretty sure we're all burning right now. It's, it's a bit of pain going on, but the girls pushed through it so hard on those flats. We just went for it, man. Uh, what did you get for the head-to-head? -head? Uh, bronze. And then what were your last two? Your slalom and downriver? Gold. And what does that mean? We're first. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously though, the downriver race, you guys absolutely smoked it. You blew it away. How did it go for you? It went amazing. Yeah, we all just worked together and we got through it. Amazing. Yeah, it just... I can't, I can't think You're pretty it. happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get the idea. <laughs> And tell me, Eduardo, what does victory mean to you? No, that's just, uh, uh, I'm, I'm so happy because we're training all year long and we, we live out our, our family in Brazil and they are sheer from, from, from us. And we are so happy because it's, uh, it, well, this, this is a dream for us. So they feel are very, very pretty good now. But uh, you know, the problem is that they do not feel that they are, they have become the world champions. It just will take some time for him, for them just to understand this. It's been a great day here at the Rangitaiki River and we look forward to bringing you more action next week when we move on to the Opens and the Masters categories.